Hello, 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 good morning, welcome to this Monday morning installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. <coughs> I don't know where that came from, thank you for being here. If you would please, whether you are watching live or watching on the replay, leave me a comment down there, let me know that you're here. I will do my best to say hi to everybody, and reply to every comment that comes in. And, this week, um, I actually have a plan for the whole week. We'll see how that plan goes. You know, one of my favorite quotes about plans uh, is from Eisenhower. I actually, two, it's two quotes. One's from Eisenhower, one's from Patton. Eisenhower said, uh, plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. Plans are worthless, but planning is priceless. We might unpack that a little bit this week. And then the second one uh, from Patton says, the best plan never survives first contact with the enemy. As soon as you lay a plan and life begins to happen, you have to modify that plan. But the process of planning, super important. So, good morning, Brooke. Good morning, George. And good morning, Karen. Thank you all for being here. So, Today, I'm going to talk about, uh, or this week, we're going to talk about uh, five things that you have to do in order to create results. And remember, results, you go back to one of my favorite quotes, which I have the Krispy Kreme mug today, not my quote mug, but if you, if it's, I even, I love it so much I got it on a coffee mug. If you want different results, you have to do things differently. If you want to create results that you don't have right now, then you have to do something differently. That's just a fact, because if you keep doing the things you're doing now, you're going to keep getting the results you get now. Two plus two always equals five. Well, there is a life variable in there, but we'll, we'll come back to that. So this week, five things that you need to do in order to begin creating results, to achieve the results that you're looking for. And today we're going to talk about the first one, and the first one is to own it. You have to know very precisely with great detail what it is you're trying to create. I get a lot of questions about why so much detail. I mean, if you've ever watched or, or been part of more than one or two of these shows, you've heard me say that when you visualize the outcome that you're trying to create, put a lot of detail in it. In fact, last week we even talked about sounds and smells and and sights not just the tangible things that you want but how will you feel when you achieve those things what will you where will you be what will you hear all of those things as much detail as possible so i get questions about well, why is that why why does that matter without that detail right <clears throat> two reasons right uh number one without that detail we're not creating an adequate enough magnet to draw us toward that result, toward that outcome. Right? Two things motivate all human uh, action, pain or pleasure. And so we, when we think about the outcome and all the detail around the outcome, then we are creating a magnet. We're pulling toward that pleasurable outcome. Now, it will come back to pain. So that's why we want all that detail. Your mind... Remember, memories are just electrical and chemical reactions in your brain. It doesn't know the difference between one that you imagined and one that you thought was real. If you don't believe that, think about a dream. When you wake up from the dream, have you ever woken up from the dream and thought, was that really happening or was I dreaming? Your brain doesn't know the difference. So if we can create that experience, that memory of that experience in your brain, then your brain will try to replay that tape and recreate that outcome. That's number one. Number two, we need to know details so that we know what we need to do. So, for example, get this one all the time. Um, I'm not making enough money in my business. I need to increase revenue. Okay, well, that's, that's not enough detail. I don't know I mean, here's 20 bucks. That's more than you made before you achieved your goal, right? You need to have enough detail so that it is, uh, so that you can evaluate the quality of the result, right? Enough detail so you can evaluate the quality of the result. 
So both of these things lead us to this idea that we have to be really clear on what we want if we are going to achieve it. If we're not really clear, then there, then there's no possible way that we're ever going to get there. We might wander around and step in it accidentally, but the likelihood of that is very, very small. What I want to do is help you create a situation where there is a very large likelihood that you're going to find it, and not accidentally by stepping in it, but by intentionally arriving there. All right, so that's step number one, own it. Be sure you are absolutely, positively, without a doubt, unquestionably clear about the result that you are trying to create. So, just a word here about programming this week. Uh, it is a holiday week here in the States this week. Tomorrow is 4th of July. I will be doing this show tomorrow at 7 a.m. Uh, as scheduled, but the radio show is taking the day off tomorrow. Actually, the guys in the studio are taking the day off. Otherwise, I'd do the show, do the radio show too. Uh, so only this show tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, I'm not sure what we're going to do Wednesday. Eric's on the road uh, this week. We might try to do a split screen, or it might be solo this week. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. I'll update you on that tomorrow. Uh, so lots of. You know, things juggling around here this week. The one thing that's going to be constant, five shows here, seven minutes in the morning at 7 a.m. Central Time, talking about those five things you have to do to create results. All right, so let's get a little more good mornings, a few more good mornings in here. Stephanie, good morning to you. Thank you. It's a work in progress, the lower third down there. We'll, we'll see how that goes uh, if we're going to keep that. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Ramona. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Remember, if you're watching on the replay, that's cool too. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know that you are here. I do my best to get through to all of those and say good morning to everyone. So that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with step number two, the second of the five steps you need to follow in order to create results. If you know somebody who could use this message, who's trying to create a result and has been struggling, let them know. Send them a message. Uh, share this video with them directly. Uh, or just put it in your news feed. That would be awesome, too. I'll be back again tomorrow. You have a magnificent Monday, and I'll talk to you then. Oh, yeah, let's do this before we go. Uh, yeah, here we go.